Hi there, how's it going? Good, how are you today? I'm well, thanks. What are we going to leave for you? Can I please have a venti Irish cream cold brew, but just lay on the uh, Irish cream, please? Um, okay, so, okay. Um, do you want just like extra or like light of the syrup in the cup, sorry then? Oh no, I just mean like, uh, like light on the actual cream. Oh, the light of the foam. Yes, oh, please. Okay, okay, sorry about that. Yeah, because we put the Irish cream syrup in the cup as well as in the foam. Okay. Um, so yeah, so if you just feel like foam, then we can definitely do that for you. Okay. Thank okay, you. Perfect. I did turn the button there. <laughs> oh, give me one second. All right. Sorry, that was weird. I hit light full foam and it charged me for that. That's not cool, so... Um, I changed a lot. <laughs> Anything else today? Uh, no, that's everything. Okay, awesome. We'll see you up at the window. Thank you. No problem. Oh, so that's why every time I ask for light Irish cream, I've been getting the regular amount of foam because I've been ordering it wrong. And like, I never say anything, but I'm always just like, it just seems like there's a lot on here, even though I asked for light, but like, I don't care. But I see it. It's, I'm the problem. That's usually the outcome of most of my issues. Listen to how like rough my voice sounds. It's because I haven't had any coffee yet. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Give me five ninety-five. I'll give card, please. Thanks. We're just finishing up for you. Okay, I was thank you. I just want to say, I love the color of your car. Thank I've you. I've definitely seen your car around town, and every time I see it, I'm like, man, I love that color. <laughs> Thanks. It's so cute. It's so cute. Okay. Okay. I don't even want to know how bad my voice sounded there. I had to stop recording because they were like switching out their cold brew machine or something. I don't know. So I was just waiting for a while. I didn't think you guys need to watch me wait forever. Anyways, I don't even want to like play back what my voice sounded like because she was like complimenting my car. When I get complimented, my voice always gets super high and I get really awkward. And like it's not like a cute high voice. Like some girls have like a super cute voice and my voice either like people always tell me it sounds like I smoke 10 packs of cigarettes a day or it sounds like a fucking baby. So when I get complimented, it's like a baby. And like right now you can like hear, like you can hear my voice is all fucked up because I haven't had any coffee today. Look at it, this is like the perfect Irish cream cold brew because it's like already like all mixed in. It almost looks like they put something else in there. Like it looks like there's coffee mixed with something and then the cold foam on top. It's usually like black coffee on the bottom. So that's weird, but that's fine. It's already like mixed in. Wait, okay, when I asked for like light cream, did they know what I meant by like light cream or did they add a product to the coffee called light cream? Like extra. Because if they did, I have to log that in my calories. Oh no. Oh no. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's just mixed in because usually there's like this much cold foam on top and there's only a tiny bit. But then that makes sense. Okay. Okay. It's okay. I promise this is my one and only Irish cream cold brew for the day. So if I get more, I'm sorry to myself. It's just so good. It's literally like, it's, it's so good. It's so good. And I normally only like one coffee order and that's cold brew with oat milk and one pack of stevia. It's all I get ever or almond milk. If I have oat milk, I'll drink almond milk. But like, this is fucking good. So I think I need to go buy a new shirt. I had to wake up really early this morning because I have a job interview really far away. Well, it's at the airport and it's like, I was at home and the airport is like a two hour drive. So I had to leave at like six. Anyways, I have an interview at 10 a.m. at the airport to be a flight attendant. I wasn't, I wasn't, I think I was planning on buying a new shirt anyway, kind of in the back of my brain, because I don't know what to wear to a flight attendant interview. I have a turtleneck and a sweater on, but the sweater, it's not dirty. Why does Irish cream cold brew always make me burp? It's not dirty in the sense that it hasn't been washed. It's dirty in the sense that I wore it every day when I was a waitress. And now there's just stuff that's like 
permanently on there. So it's not dirty, it's just like stained. Um, but yeah, you probably shouldn't wear stained clothes to a job interview. Quick tip for the kids out there. So, I'm really scared for this job interview. I just keep waiting for them to email me about it. I did you like... This is why people tell me I smoke. I don't. Because like I was looking up what the questions are too. And like one of the questions was who the CEO was of Air Canada. I was like, what? Who would ever, like, if I didn't just stumble upon this article telling me what all the questions were, I would have never researched any of that shit. Like, ever. And don't worry, they're not going to search me and find this video because Alexis Marcia isn't my real name. So when they search my real name, my videos will not come up. So I can say whatever I want, I think. The only thing I dislike about Starbucks, these, like, big lids, is having to, like, chew on the ice when it comes through the opening it really bothers me I need to start asking for no ice but I like my drinks cold I need to start bringing a straw with me what's going on with my voice it's stressing me out maybe I need to start bringing a straw with me anyways the other day I was at Shoppers Drug Mart and I needed like makeup for like right then so I just bought some cheap essence makeup oh my god this mascara was like six dollars and I love it I don't even have a lash curler with me um because I did that lash lift but this one is like dropping and this one isn't so that's nice but anyways look how good this mascara is okay look okay can you guys see what I'm doing Okay, it's only six dollars. So good. Like it's only six dollars. And I didn't even curl that. Yes, I have a lift, but look. Six dollars, you guys. Go get it, but don't get all of them. I should probably go to Shopper Shrug Mart before I post this. Oh my god, nobody's gonna see this. What am I talking about? I was talking like I was a beauty guru or something. Everyone and their mom is gonna watch this video and be like, oh shit, I need to get that mascara. No, nobody's gonna see this. But the few of you that do, go out and buy this. I freaking love it. Like, that's after only one coat. I usually only do like one or two coats just because I feel like my eyelashes get clumpy really fast. But, like, look at that. It's amazing. These lashes are fucked up. It's funny because this eyebrow is also fucked up. I don't know what I did to that side of my face. I don't know if it's because I sleep on that side. But the lift on this side is all messed up. And my um, eyebrows, I got them laminated. And this eyebrow is like, look at it. Like, I can't, I can't change what it looks like right now. That weird, like, messy look. That's just the shape that it goes in when I brush it out. I can't fix it. Okay. That one got really clumpy right in the middle. Like really clumpy, I don't understand why. I'm just gonna pick it off. But where's my fucking, I wanna show you guys how bad my eyebrow is. Where's my fucking, okay, okay. See how it's like, it's like fucking messy and weird? This is eyebrow gel. There's like no fucking fixing it. Like, no matter what I do, it's all, like, messed up, especially the ends. Because I'm like, it's, it's like, I just can't even fix it. It's fine. It's just like that for life, I guess. Now that I got it laminated, I don't understand what happened, because this one actually looks pretty good. Now that I got it laminated. But this one, like, I don't know. I don't know. I have, like, a lot of time to get to my interview. I thought that I was two hours away, but I'm less than an hour away. Which makes sense because I've been driving for quite a while. But then I also, when I was sitting there, got an email from another place that I applied for to be a travel agent from home. And I'm like, free flights to be a flight attendant. But work from home sounds kind of good. And I'm moving into my condo soon. And I can make like a cute little office. But being a flight attendant pays more and you work less hours. 
I don't need to go buy a new shirt unless I feel like it because I did find, I have this one. Why do people always do this to me? I'm in like a almost empty parking lot and somebody like parked like just right up facing my car and they're just like looking at me. I'm trying to film here. I have this shirt, hold on, hold on. It's like all fucked up. I bought this at Valley Village the other day for a video. And I forgot that I left it in my car. And it kind of, it goes really well with my pants because I'm wearing like these like brown, brown plaid pants. I also got these at Value Village and this kind of matches nicely. So I think I might just wear that to the interview. And it's got like the collar on it and I can probably wear this underneath of it. So we good. I think we're just going to do that. I'm scared. I don't want to go to the interview. Like, I want the job. I just don't want to go to the interview part. I wish that they would just give me the job. Like, I wish they would just call me right now and be like, hey, you don't have to come to the interview today, but you can have the job. <sighs> Avoid tolls. Absolutely. A few weeks ago, that was my lash tech. Well, my old lash tech. Hi, girl. Oh, it's her husband. He won't know me. Anyways. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, a few weeks ago, um... I decided to take a toll route because I've never done that before and I was like how much can it really be and I honestly like I totally expected to like come up to like one of those stands where they ask you for like 50 cents or some shit like I was like eh, okay I'll take a toll route I got a letter in the mail a couple days ago $40 $40 to like save like 10 minutes driving on this toll route and I was really surprised when I was driving I was like nobody stopped me to ask for my toll give them a dollar or some shit 40 bucks had to pay it online fuck you world I just watched this video of Paris Hilton she had to pay a toll to drive wherever she was going so I was like oh that's what I'm gonna do it's not Mm, that is good. That is really fucking good. I have an assessment to do online for this other job I applied for. I don't know if I should do it now or after or what. I might just do it after. I want to go get this job interview over with. I'm scared that it's going to be one of those things where they like offer you the job right there. I don't do good with fast, like fast changes. Like, I need you to call me in a few days and then let me know. Like, you can't just tell me right there. Be like, so do you want the job? Because I will be like, uh, yeah. And then they'll be like, can you start tomorrow? And I'll be like, uh, yeah. Okay. When in reality, like, I can't. I have to go to, like, my current job tomorrow. So, like, I actually can't. <laughs> but there's a seven-week training session. So, hopefully, like, that just doesn't start for a little while. I don't know. I'm scared. I am really scared. Should I call them and say I have COVID? No, Lucy, stop. You're going to the job interview. Oh my Proceed God. to the route, then turn right. Proceed to the route and then turn right. Shut your mouth. I'm definitely- Turn right. Then Shut turn up. turn right onto Carter Street. It literally says I can't turn left, so that's my only option. You didn't have to tell me. My stomach hurts. My stomach hurts. Ah! Focus. The interview actually went really good, I think. They kept asking me about like my waitressing experience, which is a lot of my experience. I was a hostess, then I was a bartender for the summer, and then I got into waitressing when I was 19. And then, yeah. So I have like three years in the restaurant industry so I had a lot to say about that she was like tell me about a time you had a rude ass customer well she didn't say it like that but I was like girl I have a million of those stories um and it was it was there was like a lot of people interviewing me it was very uh big and they told me to take my mask off and I forgot to so I'm scared they're gonna think that I can't take direction. Well, because they told me to take my mask off, but then the only girl who took her mask off was, like, the lady at the end of the table. And everyone next to me had their mask on, so I left it on. And then after I started talking, I realized the rest of them also took their masks off. And then I was like, do I take my mask off now? Like, fuck. I, I don't know. But they also asked me some questions that I didn't know the answer to at all. Like, they were asking me, like, what uh, POS system we use at work. And I was like, I have... 
I kind of made one up. I was like, I think it's called table serve. I have no clue if that's what it's called. I don't even know where that came from in my brain. But imagine that's not a real thing. Let's see. Imagine they get home and they Google it. And they're like, what the fuck? Maybe they'll just be like, nah, maybe that's not what she said. Table serve. Yeah, I don't see anything coming up for table serve POS system. I, I might not be good at like answering questions, but I am like a quick liar. So sometimes I just lie without knowing. <laughs> I want to buy new clothes, but then, okay, I have to go pee. I have to go pee. You know what scared me actually? The interview um i used to have this giant puff ball on my keys i didn't notice that it was gone i don't know where it so this giant fucking puff ball and i went in and i brought my tiny little steve madden purse that i just bought but i know that when i just bought this i realized that it was frustrating because my keys didn't fit in my bag from the giant puff ball that was on my keys and then all of a sudden i'm sitting like halfway through this interview that i have walked through the whole airport at this point right um, and I don't have my car keys in my hand and I forgot that the puff ball was gone because I haven't really even paid that much attention to it but I was thinking like there's no way it's in my bag because the keys don't fit in my bag with this giant puff ball on it and like halfway through the interview I kept trying to like like really like secretly stick my fingers in my bag and try to feel if my keys were in there but I was trying not to be like weird and like stick I was trying not to be weird and like stick my hand in my bag during the interview but I was like freaking out I was like where the fuck are my car keys especially because I kind of got lost in the airport and shit like that and I was like did I stop to look at my phone because they gave me directions on my phone and I was like holy fuck I probably stopped put my keys down and then kept walking and I was like holy fuck because I don't have my spare keys my spare keys are at my house and you guys my dad would not be happy if I texted him and I was like, I need my spare keys because I lost my car keys in the airport and I'm two and a half hours away from where you are, he would not be happy. I don't even know what I would do. Anyways, I started like, I started like sweating. Like I was like freaking out. They were in my bag the whole time. I'm pretty good for not losing things in public, but I do panic about it a lot. And that's why I had the giant puff ball on there. Like, where did it go? Because it's like, the puff ball I had on it was like this big so that I couldn't lose it. I just ordered online one of those little like Amazon tracker devices and it'll beep and shit like that. And you can find your car keys. So yeah. And I have like other keys on here. Like I have keys to the house, keys to my dad's freaking factory, his whole ass factory. Whew, imagine if I lost all that. Are you allowed to sit in like and do exams is that allowed or should I just go to a Starbucks and not be weird it's almost lunchtime too well it's like 11 might be really busy in there okay I like literally have to pee so bad but I'm just not getting up and going pee for some reason you guys can come in the mall with me but if anyone stares at me you're going away okay I have to pee so bad we gotta go we gotta go we gotta go we gotta go how do I get my phone out I can't remember how to do anything right now because I have to pee so I like all of them, every single one, especially these like light brown ones with fuzz on them. I hate this fitting room. 
more than I've ever hated anything in my life. I'm not using those mirrors, those community mirrors. Hey guys, if you're wondering, my boobs are completely real. I didn't get a boob job. Just, just if you're wondering, since they're giant. I'm a bigger fit, so not too long. It just takes all over to me. Okay. So dark out. It's only 3.40. It's like so dark out. I know that it's raining and everything, but still, I only got one thing. I was gonna buy that coat. I literally thought that coat was so cute, but it was just so like thin. And I live in Canada. So I actually bought two things. I bought a new mask because mine got all like messed up. And I did buy another Irish cream cold brew. Shut up. And it actually, it wasn't that good because they didn't have cold brew, so they made it with iced coffee. And it didn't taste that good, so I didn't finish it. So technically, I only had one and like a half of a tall. But yeah, I did end up buying this. It was $50. So cute. I love the color. I love this fabric. It's so nice and thick, and you guys saw it on. Cute, cute, cute. I was going to buy the tank top that I was wearing underneath of it, but it was, I think it was like 60 or something like that. And I was like, I could just get any black tank top to wear under this. I don't got to spend $60 on a Noritzio one. It's called being responsible. But this is so soft. I love it. And I didn't go in there. I wasn't buying anything. I wasn't going to buy a single thing. But I did. And that's okay. Because we're all human here. So I do want to get some food. I did eat a little bit in there. But all I had was rice cakes. People were staring at me. And I was like, what? You don't bring your own rice cakes to the mall? I'm very picky, so it's hard for me to eat in a mall. Ooh, what's that place? Where I really want to go is Whole Foods, but will I be able to find a Whole Foods? Who fucking knows? I feel like right now it feels like it should be like 7 p.m. Because it's like so gloomy out and I've been up for so long. Like I had to get up at like 4 in the morning. So it just feels off. And like I usually get up, I know I usually get up like that early. But today I actually had to leave like really early some normally I'll just like chill and drink coffee for a few hours like today I had to get up and leave so now it just feels so late like even when I was leaving in the when I was leaving the mall I didn't check what time it was but I was thinking it had to be like at least six o'clock but it's only 3 53 let's see uh there isn't really any close Whole Foods actually this one is heading towards home so even though it's 30 minutes away, it's probably not that big of a deal that it's that far. This one's also heading towards home and it's 48 minutes away. I'm going to get Harvey's right now. Harvey's has really good options if you're like craving fast food, but like you're trying to eat in a calorie deficit. Like their veggie burger, I don't want to say how many calories it has because like I don't want anyone to get upset or anything like that. But if you look on the app, it's pretty, it's the lighting is just shit. It's only 4.20. Again, I thought it was later in the day, so I already ordered dinner at 4.20. That's great. Now I'm going to be hungry at like 10 o'clock. Whatever. Fuck it. Um, anyways, the person in front of me is making me so mad. They're just bothering me. Like, I keep, like, I don't even know why. They just, they just keep, like, hitting the brakes, like, suddenly. Like, stop. We made it. I got a Diet Pepsi. Diet Pepsi is so good. I got a Diet Pepsi and a water because I was feeling healthy and a veggie burger. And a salad, you know, again, feeling healthy. Look how bad the lighting is, so it's kind of making me sad actually. The weather is ruining my whole day, for real. Just want it to be bright in here. Harvey's always gives you like a giant ass piece of tomato and that's it like just one oh. but I do like tomato so it's fine just wish there was a few more
there's a button on my mirror that I thought turned on another light. And I was trying to make it brighter in here, but actually it was the SOS button to call for help. <laughs> who's calling them? Like, whose number? It doesn't even make any sense. Whose phone number is calling them? Here's my veggie burger. Imagine they gave me a real burger. Okay, I'm getting a little too crazy now. <laughs> no, it's definitely a veggie burger. Let's look at it. I got lettuce, tomatoes, ketchup, mustard, and pickles. Harvey's pickles are the best. Oh, I also got onions, of course. I love onions. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I've never been so excited in my life. Look at that. Burger haul. <gasps> they turn lights on. Have you guys ever noticed when I eat, I put my pinkies up for some reason? No matter what I'm eating. My friends pointed that out the other day when we were at Boston Pizza. And I was like, I don't know. Like, they just doesn't feel like they should be on it. It doesn't feel right. These are my main fingers. I don't need these two. Doesn't even make sense to put them on the burger. Those pickles. I honestly, I could just eat a burger, like a bun, these pickles and onions. I keep seeing Americans on TikTok complaining about how they don't get a white Christmas. Do you want this? Do you want this? It's dark out and cold and it's 4.45 p.m. You really want this? People who live in like Texas and Florida and shit. It's like, bro, I would die to live somewhere warm. I, don't get me wrong, I love Canada, but fuck. Weather here is shit. Like driving in the wintertime is just fucked just fucked and like half the people here don't know how to drive in the winter time and that makes it even more fucked people are like slipping and sliding some people don't even get winter tires and it's just like oh my god i get it that they're expensive but come on now people you're in canada let's go huh. <sighs> i'm sorry if you want me to eat like a hot person my mouth is too small it doesn't work i think that's why I think that's why. I would see girls on TikTok and they're like all cute when they're eating. I'm sorry. I can't do that. Not possible. I'm on my filming phone because it's out of storage. And no matter how much I delete it says it's out of storage. So I'm filming on my actual phone. <laughs> Pop makes me burp. I'm sorry. Please don't hate me. I'm so sorry. The funny part is Emma Chamberlain always does that in her vlogs, and I'm like, ew! Stop. Edit that out. Now I'm doing it. I'm sorry. I just can't help it. This day has been like weirdly like uneventful, but also eventful. Like I've just been to so many different places today. It's kind of whack as fuck. I went to the Henry Starbucks. I know that you don't get that. That's just how everything works in my brain. The Henry Starbucks. Um, and then I went to the airport. Then I went to the airport. And then I went to this hotel to see if they had any apartments in it. And then I went to the mall. The mall I filmed my commercial in. You guys don't even have to look it up. I'll show it to you. Fuck it. Okay. Thank you to the socialites. That's it. That's it. That was my first ever acting job. I know I didn't do much acting, but man, when I came out of that shoot, I was like on top of the moon. On top of the moon. I was so excited. You couldn't tell me fucking shit when I went back to school. Yeah, I was in grade 12, 2019. When I went back to school, oh, I was like, watch out, celebrity coming through. 
y'all can't bully me anymore. I was in a CAA commercial. No, nah, everyone continued bullying me. Actually, grade 12 wasn't that bad for bullying. Mostly grade 11 and 10 and 9. Mostly 10 and 9. Because, like, well, in grade 12, the people who bullied me were not, like, really at school anymore. So, because they were a year older than me. So, grade 12 wasn't that bad. But, fuck. Grade 10... I don't know if it was grade 10 or grade 11 that was just hell the year I tried to um I feel like you should have caught on to that I'm still burping from that pop I better not drink any more pop because this is like bad like I'm having like <laughs> what the fuck anyway yeah that was the year I tried to <laughs> I tried to um go visit God you guys can come with me to, no, I don't think I should go to Starbucks again. I think we're done, I think we're done, okay, bye.